Okay, what's up everybody? I'm just going to explain a little something about the Reefkeeper light and the new SL2 V2 module, which has the Solidity Pro connected to it. Um, when it comes to calibration, it's pretty simple. It's pretty, you know, dead on to. Um, you basically get, this is, what you're seeing right now is the condition. That's the salinity number right there. It'll say C-O-N-D. And what you're seeing is conductivity. So the conductivity is around 49 to 50, which in salinity level by parts per trillion is about 32.4 to 32.7. So specific gravity is about 1.024, which is where I like to have it at. So basically I'm looking at 1.024 in salinity. And some people like it at 0.025, but I like mine at 0 0.024, 0 0.025. It kind of fluctuates around there. And of course my auto top off, which you can see right there. I got the digital aquatics auto top off right there. And you see that line running right there? That's actually the water that runs through a five gallon bucket. So back to salinity, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a quick way on an easy way on how you calibrate this. So we want to go to menu, go to module modules, there we go, and then I'll scroll down to my SL2 and we'll scroll down to salinity which is right there, C O N D, and it'll say 50.1. Okay, it's gonna say calibrate. I'm not gonna go any further than this because when I go through this, it can actually change the, the, the calibration modes if I tend to save the mode where it's at. I'm gonna just tell you that when you run to this stage, you're gonna push enter. And when you push enter, it's gonna give you the number 053, and then it's gonna show you numbers on the side of the screen around here that are gonna be around 19 or so. You want to change the 053 to 000, okay? And then with the salinity probe, you're going to have your salinity packet, which is going to be the calibration fluid. You take your salinity probe, you make sure you blow it clean, you make sure it's clean. You don't want to really dip it in water. You just want to make sure it's just dry and clean. Don't touch it, just blow at it, and then dip it into the salinity uh, fluid you're gonna start seeing the numbers jump around, wait about five, probably like actually three minutes. The numbers actually come up pretty quick. It's not gonna jump around like a pH pro calibration. Uh, you're gonna calibrate this pretty quickly. So like about three minutes, you're gonna see the numbers be steady at a certain point. And then you're gonna push enter. And then you're gonna see zero, zero, zero. And then you're gonna see the numbers at the end. So you wanna put zero, five, three. You wanna change that to zero, five, three. And then you're gonna take your probe out of the calibration fluid, you know, blow it dry, and then you're gonna put it back into the fluid and then just wait like a couple of minutes. And then the number's gonna be set right there. And then after your numbers are set to a certain point right here, they're not really juddering around, push enter and then you saved it. And then you're gonna go back and you're gonna, you're gonna see the numbers start moving around pretty quickly. And, and then you go back to your condition, you can just see, you put your probe into your tank and then you'll start seeing the salinity. And you should have a chart, this is a, my, my chart right here. And my chart tells me the numbers and I don't know if it can focus in, I don't think it can, but You can see that I have a chart right here. There we go. And it says 49, let's see, right there it says 50. So we look at the chart and we got 50. What's 50 at? It's gonna say 1.024. So it's 1.024, 1.024, so we're pretty good right there. So that's where I like it at. So see, it's it's pretty dead on. I checked it on my refractor meter also, and my refractor meter is dead on with the probe. So I gotta say that the Salinity probe that Digital Aquatics produced, the new one that they just put out, is pretty dead on. It's pretty it's pretty accurate, damn accurate. So I like it, and I hope this uh, video just gives you an easy way on calibrating it. 
Sorry, I didn't actually show the method of calibration, but this is something that you want to do right when you get it out. They recommend that you put the probe in the tank for like 48 hours, but honestly, I left my probe in the tank in the beginning for like just like about three, like about pretty much like overnight. I left it in there overnight, so that's something you want to think of. But honestly, uh, hopefully this video helps you out in calibrating